Hi guys, this is Ramzi from ACDC Marine Inc. The leader and the biggest company in the world for marine gauges and actually marine instrumentation panels. Today we're going to talk about something for the small boats. They have Yanmar engines such as one cylinder and two cylinder or even three cylinder engines. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this panel over here. They call that the B panel. It is a panel that it has an RPM and what's called idiot lights. This panel is designed only like if the engine goes, if the alarm goes off for high temperature or low oil pressure, it will light up over here. Of course, if you lose your alternator also, it will light up to tell you you have a dead alternator. It doesn't work. Or maybe your belt has fell down. That's why I'm going to overheat very soon. And that's what usually happens. Uh, there's also other panel. I couldn't find one that it's complete. That's also from Yanmar. They call it the C panel. Uh, it has uh, where my finger sticks here is another uh, somehow they use uh, a siren and here they use a bush button. I'm sure this is, was broken. One of my customers sent it over to me. Uh, since we have these panels over here and we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about how simple these panels are. This engine, they come with a panel that has what's called the idiot lights. Low oil pressure alarm. Hello, you don't have oil pressure. You lost your oil pressure. And the other one is high temperature alarm, which is, hello, you're overheating. Either or is not a good idea. You should have a panel that has uh, early detection, uh, early uh, warning, such as an oil pressure gauge and temperature gauge for the engine itself. Now, most people I get called, but I don't have any ports on the engine to do that. For the oil pressure, it's so simple. It's, it's not a big deal at all. You can always add a T, or what we make here, we call it T-hose. It's a rubber hose that it is 300 PSI fitting, and it goes in the actual engine itself where the sending unit is, where the actual low oil pressure switch is, and it comes out on the other side as a T, and in this case, you can add a sending unit and a, a low oil pressure switch. So the oil is simple, easy to fix. Now the temperature in this engine is usually a very difficult part because they have only one port and that port is for the high temperature alarm. Why it's very important to have high temperature gauge? Because you don't want to wait until this alarm goes off until you are overheated. It's not a good idea. What if that switch did not work? You're going to destroy your engine. What if this switch goes off at 250 degree, not 220 degree, for example. So you could have a damage on your engine and you don't want to wait until your engine is really boiling to say, okay, I got to do something about it. So having a gauge and keeping monitoring this gauge when you're riding your engine, it's very important. Uh, but how are you going to install a gauge? You, to install a gauge, you have to have what's called sending unit. This is what's called sending unit over here. That's a variable resistance, technically and it gives you the front voltage for the gauge to move up and down. But how to mount such part like that when you don't have any ports on the engine? We came out with a very simple uh, suggestion for all of these uh, two-cylinder and three-cylinder and one-cylinder engines uh, that they don't have any other ports. Uh, we tell the customer where is the actual uh, uh, thermo coupling or the actual thermostat for this engine that uh, make sure that the engine gets up to 170 or 180 degree uh, because that's when the diesel start performing. Uh, we tell the customer that thermostat cover, you should buy a new gasket for it, $10, $20 from the dealer. And you take this gasket cover out or the actual uh, thermostat cover out and you drill on it and you tap it to one eighth of an inch NPT, National uh, Pipe Thread. And you can add a small uh, symbol ther uh, th uh, thermocoupling or actually a sending unit, temperature sending unit. Now, this is a temperature sending unit that's only one eighth of an inch, very small, not too deep.
YM. system, which it means you're going to use that port. So what do you usually do? You have a port in the engine, it's about three-eighths of an inch, you put a bar on it, and you have another port. So you have one out, and one is in. And this out goes to the water heater, comes from the water heater, goes back again into the engine to warm up the terrible fire. Well, we came out with a very simple idea. You take this out of the engine, and you add what's called the T. This is the T. You screw it here and you put your hose again in the same spot. Now you need a nipple. This is the other side of the nipple over here where you can screw this back again into the engine. Now we have opening on the top. That's where we can mount our sending unit into it. It will measure the actual coolant while it's going into the water heater and back again from the water heater to the engine at the colder side. So this is an easy, simple way to do it for the temperature. It costs only about $10, $15, depends on where you're gonna buy it from. It's a tea and a nipple. That's all that you have to buy, not even the barb. The barb you can take from the other side of the engine. So this is all that you have to buy is a tea and a barb. Uh, this is a simple way of adding the sending unit. Uh, same thing also with the Oil, you can use a T and use a sending unit and alarm uh, output and you're done with these engines. Uh, very simple. The six cylinder and the four cylinder, they usually have an extra ports. You can use the actual sending unit and it without adding any uh, or making any extra work or efforts. Thank you for listening to ACDC Marine Inc. This is Ramsey again. Would love to see you again, guys.